Lucy and Stephanie went indoors, washed their hands, made sure their hair was tied back again. They both felt quite dirty, but they were both very hungry, so they didn't really care that much. They got into the kitchen and made a decision on who would make the coffee and who would get the food ready. Stephanie traipsed off and did her bit, getting all the food and that out of the fridge and making sure everything was prepared. As they sat down, Lucy placed on the table a large mug of milky coffee each. God, that looks great, said Steph. I can really do with that now. They sat down off either end of the large kitchen table and put their plates in front of them. It wasn't long before they started talking about the local carryings on. I hear the butcher's wife, Betty, is meant to be carrying on with the postman, said Stephanie. Sure, said Lucy. Well, everybody knows about it, said Steph. Hmm, yeah, apart from Betty and the postie, said Lucy. I can't see it happening. The butcher and his wife seem really happy together. Why would they be doing such a thing? I'm just saying, said Steph. It's just what's going around the village at the moment. They both looked at each other, looked down at their plate and smiled. Oh, I love a bit of goss, said Lucy. I've also heard tell that the uh, landlady at the pub's expecting again. Oh, you are joking. That'll be her fifth. We well, don't matter. They're happy. They're contented. They've both got jobs anyway. Well, of course they have, says Steph. They own the pub. Another baby in the village. Everybody loved new blood as they would say, and they loved a new baby. Boys, girls were always welcome, and in the pub there was a round, rowdy load of children that played in the backyard, so one more could make none the difference. I heard, said Lucy, while reading the local rag, that there's a tr strong chance that our local post office will be shutting down. Oh no, said Steph, not another small village post office going down the drain. It's happening everywhere. I know said Lucy, but I suppose it's just what happens. We just have to go into the big town, I guess. But it's not the same, said Steph. It's nice having our own little post office. And the old people gather there, the OAPs. Don't call them that. Just say senior citizens, said Lucy. Sorry, said Steph. But they like to gather there on Tuesday. It's pension day. Even my nan goes down. They go down, they have a chat, they get their money, and they go off into the pub to have a cup of coffee because the landlady does a special deal for them on Tuesdays. They have a nice fish lunch, and they can have a nice Coke or drink or whatever. Probably sherry, said Lucy. Don't be daft, says Stephanie. My nan likes a port and lemon. A port and lemon? Crumbs, she said. That's from way back, isn't it? That's about in the 40s. They both laughed and carried on eating. After a while, it became quite quiet in there in the kitchen and they just looked around as if they were trying to think of something else they could say i know said lucy what's going on at school heard anything lately any news anything going on any gossip stephanie started to tell her about some of the office parties that had happened over the years and how things had been funny and the silly things that they do when you're at an office party one too many drinks one too many flirtations and a few red faces on the following day when they were back to school. That's okay, said Lucy. I think that's all just good fun. It doesn't really matter. What is it they say? What happens at the office party stays in the office party? Don't be stu stupid, said Stephanie. Don't say anything at all, isn't it? Something to do with America? Oh, I don't know, said Lucy. And they both laughed again. I heard tell that Mrs Hyam's dog was lost. Who, Rex? said Lucy. I saw them the other day just walking up the road. Yeah, I know, said Stephanie, but apparently he was lost for two days. Oh, crumbs, been found? Oh, yes, said Stephanie, safe and well with a big grin on his face. What are you on about? said Lucy. Well, I hear tell they found him with Miss Jones's dog, Tess. She is very happy and he looked even happier. Oh no, said Lucy. Yes, said Stephanie. We're waiting to hear about the birth of the puppies. Oh, crumbs. You fancy having a puppy, Lucy? No, thanks. I'm quite happy, said Lucy, with my cat. And that's how the meal continued, chatting about all kinds of things, telling each other secrets from past times. They were getting to know each other so well now that they could literally say anything to each other. 
I remember when I was at school, said Lucy. There was this boy. His name was Ben. Oh, I really liked him. You know, when you're like 12, 13, you think they're going to be the love of your life and that you'll never love anyone else. Oh, I remember that, said Steph. But mine was with a girl. Her name was Paula. Really liked Paula. Oh, said Lucy. So where was she from then? Oh, she was from around here, but she moved away. Um, met a boy in the Navy, I think. Not entirely sure, said Steph. But we outgrew each other and moved on, as young people do. You know what it's like, finding out who you are and what you're going to do in life. Did you always want to be a teacher? Said Lucy. Mm, not really, said Stephanie. Started off, I wanted to be a vet. But when I realised that sometimes the animals would be ill and sadly they might pass away, I decided no, that was not for me and took on primary school teaching. Lucy said she wasn't sure what she really wanted to do. It was really weird. Her mum had always said to her, you're never going to know what you want to do, young lady. You swap and change from one idea to the other, from one craft to the other, from one place to the other. I expect I'll get there, said Lucy, but right now I'm quite happy at the school and I love it in the office with everybody because everybody's so kind, generous with their time, said Stephanie. Yeah, said Lucy. They've always got time of day for everybody. There's no problems, no worries. It's always just great there. Oh, I know sometimes the parents can be a bit of a handful, but so will I be if my little Johnny had lost his shoes again for the fourth week in a row. I know, said Stephanie. Where on earth those kids hide this stuff? I really do not know. It was about time to get started and get back out. Shall we wash up now? Oh, leave it, said Lucy. I'll do it later. Obviously, I'll have to have some lunch or something this evening, something to eat before I settle down, and I'll just do it all then. Or if I don't do it then, I'll do it tomorrow. It's Sunday. No work, just leisure, she said as she smiled. Off out into the garden they went. There can't be much more to find, she said, in this silly little coal hole of a shed. Come on, said Lucy, let's get on. The afternoon was beginning to chill down now. They both popped on a cardi to keep warm, and they started and finally finished. When the whole of the shed was opened up and empty, it looked a lot bigger than it did before. Well, remember, it had only been a toilet, said Lucy, so it's not overly large. But with everything out of it, no toilet pole. Um, pan in there and also obviously once upon a time there'd been an overhead system it was brilliant it looked huge if we put it all back sensibly said Stephanie we can fit more in there and make it more accessible so we can get out what we need without messing about we said Lucy are you offering to help me in the garden oh just a manner of speech said Stephanie but I could help sometimes she said and looked away as if she was just um Framing indignation about the fact that she might help. I thought of it as if I'm a peasant. Lucy looked at her and smiled. The afternoon had been brilliant and they'd had a fantastic time. And Lucy was really pleased one of the worst jobs had been done, finished with and sorted. What's that? said Stephanie. What's what? said Lucy. That over there. Over in the corner and what left looked like the last little bit of dust left in the corner, something glinted as the sun had moved round. Lucy moved closer. I don't know, she said. And there it was, a piece of jewellery. What on earth can it be? She picked it up. It was a small gold locket on a very fine chain. But the catch was broken, and had obviously been broken for quite a number of years, because... It was well and truly looking like it had been left there for a while. Lucy started to open it. Wait a minute, she said. I wonder it belonged to. Could be a picture inside. And as she opened it, they saw something inside that made them both smile. <laughs>